Hello listener. Welcome to agriculture lesson for grade 4. Today we shall learn about water conservation in farming. We shall learn about water conservation in farming. Your radio teacher is Dominic Muhia. Welcome to the program. Hello Lana. Welcome to our agriculture lesson for grade 4. Today we are going to learn about water conservation in farming. We shall learn ways of conserving water in farming. Before we begin, let us remember what we learned about water. Lana, name some of the sources of water that we learnt. Name some of the sources of water that we learnt. Yes, some of the sources of water are rain, well, streams, rivers, lakes, oceans, and seas. Lana, is a tap a source of water? Yes or no? Is a tap a source of water? The correct answer is no. A tap is not a source of water. A tap is usually connected to a source of water so that it can produce water. But a tap on its own is not a source of water. Land Name two uses of water in farming. Name two uses of water in farming. The uses of water in farming include growing flowers, fruits, and vegetables. Irrigation of crops, cooling compost manure, animals need clean water to drink and bathe, fish farming also requires water. I hope you are able to remember a few of these uses of water in farming. Today I want us to learn about ways of conserving water in farming. Lana, what is water conservation? Can you tell me what water conservation is? You can use your internet or a dictionary and write down the meaning of water conservation. Water conservation is the practice of using water in an efficient manner or in a good way to reduce misuse of water. Water conservation also means using less water or recycling used water. So, water conservation is that practice 
of using water in a good manner. This helps to reduce misuse of water. We must use less water or water that is only required for a particular use. My dear Lana, what is irrigation? What is irrigation? Irrigation simply means supplying water to plants when there is little or no rain. Irrigation means supplying water to plants when there is little or no let us find out the methods of watering plants used around our home or at school do you think the methods used consume a lot of water or less water do you think the methods used consume a lot of water or less water The different methods of irrigation include 1 flooding the land 2 use of furrow 3 overhead irrigation and the last one is drip irrigation Lana which of these four methods of irrigation do you think will conserve or save water from the four methods of irrigation flooding use of furrow overhead and drip which one do you think will conserve water? The correct answer is drip irrigation. Drip irrigation. Drip irrigation is the type of irrigation that allows water to get into the soil through small droplets it is the type of irrigation that allows water to get into the soil through small droplets the water gets in at very low rates it is the best method of irrigation that conserves water. Lana, what do you think we can use for drip irrigation? Ah, we can use bottles or pipes with small holes. When we connect pipe from a source of water and put some small holes through it then water will drip down into the soil through small droplets drip irrigation can also be used through bottles by placing them around the crops lana what is a greenhouse have you seen a greenhouse before? I hope so. A greenhouse is a special structure where different crops are grown inside. A greenhouse is a special structure where different crops are grown inside it helps to reduce 
water loss by evaporation. It helps to reduce water loss by evaporation. Therefore, greenhouses also helps in conserving of water. Lana, what do we call the activity of placing dry grass around plants? What is the name of the activity whereby we place dry grass around plants? The activity of surrounding dry grass around plants is known as mulching. Mulching. I hope you got it correct. Mulching conserves water and also protects the soil from erosion. When we have strong winds and heavy rains, the mulch helps to conserve soil erosion. When there is strong wind and heavy rains, mulching protects the soil from erosion. Lana, now let us list down the ways of water conservation in farming. 1. Use of drip irrigation. 2. Using greenhouses. 3. Use of mulching. 4. Capturing and storing rainwater in tanks. Capturing and storing rainwater in tanks. 5. Repairing taps that leak in good time. Repairing taps that leak in good time. And 6. Reusing wastewater where possible reusing waste water where possible finally my dear lana i want you to remember the following tips i want you to remember the following tips when reusing water when reusing water it is only best for crops. Animals should be watered using clean water to avoid diseases. Animals should be watered using clean water to avoid diseases. Another thing I want you to remember is that it is our duty to water all domestic animals it is our duty to water all domestic animals especially poultry cats and dogs all plants and animals cannot survive or do without water all plants and animals cannot survive or do without water. Water is life. Always wash your hands regularly to avoid diseases such as the coronavirus. Always wash your hands regularly to avoid diseases such as the coronavirus. Finally, let us conserve water. With that, we come to the end of our lesson for today. Until next time, it's goodbye.